First at 1040 tonight, Chelsea Barton takes us to the opening night of Alabama gymnastics. She joins us now live in the studio with more. Tamika, hundreds of fans came out tonight to support the storied Alabama gymnastics team and coaches. Fans tell me one of the main things they love about attending these meets is that they are fun for all ages. Former Alabama football captain Daniel Pope's daughter Mary Collier has Bama pride running through her veins. She gives Alabama gymnastics a perfect 10. Um, Alabama's cool because I love their sprints, I love their dances, I love everything they do. It's pretty much my favorite sport that they play. I loved Alabama because red's my favorite color, my dad played there, and so pretty much Alabama's been my number one state or country in the whole world. Tonight's match makes history as Dana Duckworth coaches for the first time as head coach. From what we can tell, fans and members of the Bama Gymnastics family are confident in what she'll do for the program. Oh, it's, it's incredible. Um, we uh, love Sarah and we wish her the best and she was absolutely awesome and we think that Dana is going to be exactly the same. Miss Dana is my dad's friend. And so she every year she gives me t-shirts and so it's really the, a big opportunity for me now that she's head coach. I'm really excited for Miss Dana because she is pretty much my my best friend. She was our volunteer assistant coach when we were on the team, so she was the heart, you know, she gave the team the heart and the enthusiasm, um, and I think she's going to continue to do that as a head coach as well, and I think it's going to be a great transition. I think she's going to do a great job. Through the years, it's always been family has been a recruiting tool, and I think the family tradition continues and the legacy continues. Roll Tide! Roll! Go Bama! Now Gary Harris will have the final results from that match coming up in Home Team Sports. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton for WVUA News.